What's up, people? Joe Wenko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And here's my next episode of Joe Wenko Talk. So, um, this is going to be a gloomy episode of Joe Wenko Talk. It's not, it's not going to be about myself, though, but it is a gloomy, it is a gloomy topic, though. What I'm going to be discussing is this news story, a missing persons case that has haunted me for quite some time. I've definitely have mentioned it on previous episodes of Joe Winko Talk before, but I never went in depth about this case. It's the case of a girl who went missing from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Her name was Brittany Drexel. She was 17 years old at the time of her disappearance. She went missing in April of 2009. So basically what happened in her case was she lived in New York and it was around spring break and um, she was 17 years old at the time she went missing. She had a troubled past because she had a history of depression and um, I watched about, I, wa I learned about this in a documentary I saw about her recently. She really wanted to go to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina because her, a bunch of her friends were going to be heading to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and she wanted to get away, but her parents said that she wasn't allowed to go. So what she did was she told her mother that she was actually going to be spending spring break with some friends in, uh, in Rochester, New York, because they lived in, in Rochester, New York. But where she actually went was Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And she was there for a few days, and... The night before she was supposed to leave, she went missing while she was walking down the street in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And this happened way back in 2009, and they still don't know exactly what happened to her. However, a year ago, a news story broke out that someone in prison had told who what had happened to her. There's this guy in prison he said that what happened was Brittany Drexel was kidnapped and was taken to a stash house. And there was... What they did was they saw... He saw someone sexually assaulting her in the stash house. He didn't help her at all, didn't try to rescue her or anything. And then he walked out. She later ran away from... He later saw her ran out of the stash house. The guy chased her. And then he pistol whipped her and brought her back inside the stash house. And then he shot her to death because he said that he heard gunshots coming from the house. Then next he saw them carrying her body out of the house. And somehow he knew that they dumped her body in a gator pit to be eaten by alligators. And I remember when I first read about that news story a long time ago what had happened to her. I've been following the case for a long time. And I remember when I first heard of the, I, when she first went missing, cause I was living in the Dominican Republic, but I'd always read um, articles on American news sites to know what was going on back in the USA. And I remember seeing her picture on one of the articles. Um, it was this picture of her. That's her, Brittany Drexel. And I remember reading, I was 13 years old at the time she went missing, and I remember reading about her story and everything, and that she went missing, and I was worried about her. And then I remember I showed it to my uncle, and I said, oh, this girl went missing in South Carolina, and I was really worried about her. And my uncle told me, oh, well, don't worry, Joe, she pro they'll end up finding her soon. And it's really haunting to think that it's been eight years. They still don't know what happened to her at all. I felt really sorry for Brittany Drexel. And I always thought that she... She always reminded me of my uncle because she had those large blue eyes. My uncle had eyes very similar to that. And also one of my friends... who my best friend who was murdered back in 2006, he also had blue eyes like she did. And it was really sad, and I was worried for her, and I was hoping that she'd be okay and that she came home, but I remember every now and then I would 
type in her name on Google search and read about her story. And I, throughout the years, I would keep seeing that she still wasn't, hasn't been found. And I was really worried about her. But when I read this story, I was like, she's not alive. They killed her. And however, when I thought about it after a while, I don't think that story is true, really. I hope it's not true and I don't want it to be true, but it seems like everyone is believing it, but they never found any of her remains or anything. And if I honestly think that that person in prison, he could have been making it up, but if he was really true, I mean, if he was telling the truth with the story of what had happened to her, and he saw her in the stash house getting sexually assaulted, and he didn't try to help her at all, or notify anyone until six or seven years later, I honestly think he should be charged, and he should be put in jail for that. Because she was right there, and he could have saved her, but she didn't. And you know, I really think what the police should be doing is I think that they should be trying to locate this stash house that she was in to try to see if the story was real. If she was shot inside the stash house, there should be DNA evidence inside the house, even to this day, because it never clears up DNA evidence. They should look for DNA evidence, and what gator pit are they talking about? How did he know that she was being dumped in, in a gator pit? They should definitely try looking for her remains or something, if this is true, because they said that nothing will ever be found. How can nothing be found? There should be something left, like a piece of her clothes or anything. They did find Prada sunglasses in a swamp south of Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, but they don't think they belong to her. But, well, quite a few people did think they belonged to her. But the thing is, Brittany Drexel went missing at night. Why would she have sunglasses with her? She didn't have any of her clothes or anything with her. She was just had on, had on what she was wearing and her purse, and that was it. Another thing is, as I mentioned earlier, I don't think the story happened, and I think they should still keep looking for her. I definitely think they should keep looking into this story and see if it's true, try to locate the stash house or anything or any evidence. But... I don't think she's dead. I never wanted to believe she was dead because the story was really sad and I felt really sorry for her. Personally, I think what happened to Brittany is I think she escaped and I think she got away. I remember hearing in one um, documentary, they said that she was on a soccer team and the coach who um, had her on the soccer team, he said that she was the fastest girl on the team and that she was able to run really fast, and he never seen a girl as fast as her. Well, she was the fastest runner on the team. If she was being chased by these guys who were going to kill her, she should have gotten away. And I truly believe that she did. I think that she's still out there. I think that she's still alive. Because another thing is, you always hear about people who have amnesia and don't know where they came from or what happened or how they got there at all. I think that's probably what happened to Brittany. I think she's still alive, still wandering out there. She probably doesn't know who she is or where she came from because probably either because an injury she uh, sustained or from the trauma of all these events. And I think she's still alive and still out there. And I don't think anyone should give up hope. And I don't think anyone should say that Brittany Drexel is dead until they find something that proves that she is. And a story from a thug in prison, that's not enough. They need to get more evidence on this. There hasn't really been that many updates on this case, really, since that story broke out, but I don't think they should just close the case and think that she's dead. I think she's still out there somewhere, and they shouldn't give up on her at all, either. Another thing was, um, my Sims 2 horror movie, Carolina Maniacs, that movie was actually dedicated to Brittany Drexel. Um, the reason why I had that in the end credits was because I wanted to alert people about the case and let people keep the case in the headlines still and let people know that she's still missing and they don't know what happened to her. I don't believe she's dead. And that's also the same reason why I'm putting out this video. I don't believe she's dead. I think she's still alive, as I just explained. And I think people should continue searching for her.
and I don't think anyone should forget her. And in my movie, Carolina Maniacs, the main character, Brie, during the finale, when they're in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Brie, um, I made the, here's a picture of it. I dressed Brie in the same outfit that Brittany Drexel was wearing um, when she was last seen. And I did that to alert people of the case more. And also in SimCity 4, in my Myrtle Beach, South Carolina episode, I made a statue of Brittany Drexel. Here it is. That's her holding a flashlight, because I think she's alive and trying to find her way home. So that's why I made the statue of her. And in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, there's also a memorial plaque that says for Brittany Drexel, who went missing. I really want to visit Myrtle Beach, South Carolina and go to that memorial just to pay my respects. Even though I still believe that she's still alive and I don't think anyone should give up on her, I still want to go there. And I really hope that the story that they told is not true and I really hope that she's still alive and I hope that one day she comes home and, and is with her family again. I truly believe that that's going to happen one day. And until there's solid evidence that proves that she isn't, I'm always going to think that Brittany Drexel is alive. Even back when I first saw that picture when I was 13 years old, and I saw her picture and everything, I was hoping she was alive. I didn't think she was dead. And to this day, I still don't think she was. she's dead. I think that she's still alive out there in the exact way I describe. And I hope she's found. I hope her family knows where, learns where she is and she returns home alive and she sees her little brother and sister again. And I think that everyone should keep that, keep that scenario in mind that she might actually be alive out there and that she's okay. And um, that's all I wanted to talk about in this episode of Joe Winko Talk. So... Don't give up on Brittany. I'm pretty sure, I'm 100% sure she's still alive. I don't think this Gator Pit story is true and they should look into it and tr prove that it isn't true. Try to find the DNA evidence or something and just keep Brittany in your thoughts. And if anyone has an, any information, just make sure to come forward or if anyone knows anyone who might be Brittany Drexel, please come forward. And that's basically it for this episode of Joe Winko Talk. So don't forget about her. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's it. Peace out, people.